हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एग्रीकल्चर इंजीनियर ऑनलाइन लेट अस सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम गेट 1990 फ्रॉम फार्मेसी एंड पावर सेक्शन अबाउट ए मल्टी डिश क्लॉथ्स इट सेज द क्लॉथ्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ एट डिश द आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सर्फेस इज फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर एंड इनर डायमीटर इज इलेवन सेंटीमीटर डिटर्मन द टोटल लोड ऑन स्प्रिंग विथ विच द डिस्क विल बी हेल्ड टूगेदर इफ द पावर 8 HP power is to be transmitted at 11 uh, 10 uh, 1000 RPM. Assuming coefficient of friction 0.08, then what is the load carried by the each contact surface? Let us go. This is since this is a multi-disc clutch, so actually there are eight discs are there. So in this case, this is multi-disc clutch. So number of disks given number of disks 8 so that means n1 plus n2 is given 8 so n is the number of pair of uh, contact surface we can get that is n1 plus n2 minus 1 that is 8 minus 1 is 7 so now it is given the clutch this clutch the inner diameter and outer diameter so if This is the inner diameter. So D I and this is D O. So D I is given as 11 centimeter, which means the radius or R I will be equal to 11 by 2 centimeter. That is 5.5 centimeter, or you can say 0.055 meter. Similarly, outer uh, diameter is given 15 centimeter. That means Uh, radi outer radius will be equal to 0.075 meter. These are the things given, and uh, also the power to be transmitted. So, power is given that is 8 hp. Uh, at uh, a RPM, RPM uh, speed of 1000 RPM, or n is given. So, this is n. n is given. The thousand RPM. So also it is given the coefficient of friction between the uh, contact surface that is mu that is given as 0.08. So first of all we need to calculate the torque need to be transmitted. So power is equal to 2 pi nt by 60. So this for what? If uh, n is in uh, uh, RPM and t is in uh, newton meter and uh, Because power is in horsepower, we can divide for 746. What e for each horsepower? So therefore, P is given 8 and 2 pi n is 1000 into torque divided by 60 into 746. From where we can get the torque will be equal to uh, 56.99 newton meter. So this is the torque to be transmitted by the number of contact surface. There is seven pair of contact surfaces. So now we know that the torque to be transmitted will be equal to n is the number of contact surfaces into mu into f is the uh, that is the uh, load on the spring, which axial force you can say into r. R is the mean radius of the cloth. So here actually the mean radius of the cloth should be calculated is. 2 by 3 uh, into uh, R O means outer radius uh, sorry outer radius Q minus inner radius Q divided by outer radius square minus inner radius square. So from there we are putting these values. That is 2 by 3 into 0.075 Q minus 0.55 Q divided by 0.075 square minus 0.055 square. You can see that way we can calculate our uh, mean radius will be equal to 0.0655 meter. So this radi outer radius can be uh, actually calculated according to the uniform wear and uniform pressure. In this case, nothing is given, so we can get uniform pressure. So, from this actually, once you find out the R and 
everything is known only a f will be calculated so that means a f will be equal to t divided by n mu r so from there actually t is given that is 56.99 newton meter divided by n is the 7 and uh, mu is 0.08 into r is 0.655 meter so this is from this the force will be meter meter cancel out as a newton so that will that therefore force will be coming as uh, 158 sorry 1553.54 newton so this is the total force axial force required to give by the spring therefore uh, we can uh, make it in kg so to make it is kg that is you have to divide by 9.8 therefore 1553.54 divided by 9.8 so you can get 158.54 kg so kg force you can say so 158.54 kg force has to be applied total force to the uh, clutch by the spring or the loading spring you can say so each contact surface will be how much force required that will be 158.54 divided by n is 7 so therefore this is the force that is 22.64 kg force is required for or load required that is carried by each contact surface So this is the answer for this question this is 22.64 so if you have the other one so it is uh, r i plus r 0 by 2 so then uh, there is a little uh, uh, little change will be there otherwise it will be same so this is the answer for this question hope you understand please like and subscribe to my channel